Hey, it's Pupmeister, and you know how much I love elevators. Well, I've got another one. Now, this is a classic, but I don't see too many people building it. However, when you have, say, built my iron farm that I showed you, or you have a ton of iron, this is a super quick elevator. Uh, you can climb like a hundred blocks and five seconds probably, um, but it all depends on how fast you click. This is a minecart elevator, and I don't know if you've ever seen this before, but it's pretty cool. So, let's get started. You're going to need, all you're going to need are ladders, blocks, minecarts, and rails. Now, the rail is going to be broken every time, so if you want to have a few, or you just want to use one and keep going to get it, it's up to you. So, let's get to it. All right, so we're going to build our elevator up this cliff. Now, I know it looks really high from here, but it's really only about 12 or 13 blocks high. Uh, you can do this as high as you want. It's completely up to you. All right, so to get started, let's just build a couple sides to it because, you know, you probably want something you can walk into. And, of course, you can build this up into, you know, some kind of entryway if you so desire. Now, the very first one, you want to go up one, two three and on your fourth one you want to put a ladder and then at the ladder you just want to form kind of a little donut just like this and then you want to put a block above a rail the minecart and then you want to break the block and you will as you can see you got the rail back and now the minecart is just sitting on the ladder now for everyone past this you just want to go up three instead of four so one two three and that will be our next Just like that. As you can see, it's very simple. And just make your little round donut shape around it. Place your block. Place your rail. And place your minecart. Break the block. And keep going up. So, one, two, three. Three. That'll be our next one. And then, of course, we're just going to do our little donut again. Just like that. And the old rail. Whoops. Doesn't really matter, but it, I don't know. I think it's a little more stable if you put it that way. Put the rail or put the minecart on top. Break the box. And we're up. And it's pretty much that simple. So we could build this up a little bit. Well, the minecart started moving a little bit. That's why it's good to have blocks on both sides. Now you can use glass in some of this if you want to make it look interesting. Now to go down, all you have to do is fall in. And you go down just like that. To go up, you look up. And you right click, right click, right click. And then you just have to push your shift at the top to get out. And there you go. Super easy to build. It does take, as you can tell, it does take a bit of iron. But 
I don't think, you know, there's many faster ways. Look at that. I'm at the top already. Like how how fast did the, how fast was that? Like 1 or 2 seconds. So, it's a great elevator. You can go as high as you need to, and this can be done underground as well. And I might as well show you how to do that because it's actually pretty much the same just a wee little bit different and I'll see you in the cave all right here we are down in the depths of the caves so let's say for example you were exploring and you found a really cool cave that you might want to make your base from or a small base because it goes everywhere and you want to keep exploring and you want a quick and easy way down here since you know you took a thousand tunnels to get here <laughs> um, so the very first thing you want to do whether we're making this minecraft or minecraft whether we're making this minecart elevator or a water elevator whatever you're doing the very first thing you want to do is scope out a couple places where you want your elevator to be okay so I put a piece of wood everywhere way back there you can see another one and then I did another one way back there I think you might be able to see it there too so pick a few different locations write down the coordinates and then go back up and see where those coordinates are because you know you don't want your elevator coming out in some very inconvenient spot like in the middle of an ocean or in the middle of a village or whatever um, so write down the coordinates of a few different places go back up see where they come out see which location would be the best for your elevator and then come back down and start making it so let's go do that all right well we marked the three spots on the surface here to see where they ended up and as you can see the first one is over here now unfortunately we're gonna have to be dealing with the desert which means a lot of sand is going to fall on our head at some point so we have to keep that in mind while we're digging all right so here's the first option um, on the far side of the other village and then the second option is kind of down here in the valley which is not too bad um, it's still a ways away um, and then the third option is over here and this one's kind of more in the middle of the village I kind of like this one because I can clear out some of the sand already and maybe just bring it to the uh, stone so nothing we don't have to worry about the sand at all um, which isn't a big deal we could have dealt with it anyway but um, but this is seems just to be more central and closer to my actual village which you can kind of see in the far distance there you can see the AFK spot for my gunpowder creeper farm so let's pick this one and I'm just gonna clear this out and then we'll see what it looks like and then we will go down back into the cave and start our elevator so we cleared it all out and basically right where this block is is where we will be coming up and I think this is gonna work great we already have a path going up to the village so this is perfect so now that we've got our spot let's go back down into the cave okay we are back down here and we have a winner <laughs> it is this one over here so this is where we're going to be making our elevator and we are at negative 32 right now and where we cleared it up above 
we were at 59. So all in all, we need an elevator for about 91 blocks. Now, for this minecart elevator, it's actually pretty easy to figure out what you need because you need a minecart every four squares. So that equals 23 minecarts, although I made an extra just in case. And of course, for every minecart, you also need a ladder and the rail. Well, you know the deal on that one. So let's get started. So I've got my shulker box here, and this is basically showing what we're going to need for this build. Minecart, and then we'll put a bunch of minecarts ready to go. So when we begin, remember the very first one can go four up. So one, two, three, four. And for out here, I'm just going to use some temporary blocks here. And we're going to have to go all the way up there. Okay, and then we're going to put our block there. And we'll put our track down like that. Minecart on top. Break it. And we're good. And then we want to go one, two, three this time. And we'll continue up for now. So at this point, you want to hop over here. We'll bring that down because this will allow you to mine dually up. And when you do, you'll always mine the opposite one. So if anything falls, ah, like that, <laughs> it won't affect you. All right, so let's put that guy in and we want to put our track and our minecart then we want to break that baby and just to be safe I would make just a little donut going around to keep that baby in place all right and now we can go up again and we can we can put some uh, lights in here if it's easier for you one two three so that's the next one And you can see on that side, we've got the same issue with the gravel. All right. And then we want to bring it up again, place our block, place our track. And place our minecart and then break it and there you go and I like how the light shines through see that all right and then again one two three one two three keep going up um, I guess we should have mined a little more before now we just went through some, so I'm pretty safe at doing that, but you shouldn't have done what I just did. <laughs> Always mine the opposite as you go up. All right, and then up we go again, place our block, put in the track, and put in our minecart, break the block, 
grab the track. And let's keep going here. There we go. Then we'll come over here. And just keep up like that. And then we can come over. Now it's not the best that our minecart just did that. But as you can see, it still works fine. And you just got to right click and you keep on coming up. And it straightened itself out. So we're all good there. And remember to get out of the cart, you're just hitting your shift key. And then we just continue. I'll put another torch in here. And we'll continue going all the way up. And once we're at the top, I'll see you again. Just one more point as I make my way up. If you don't want to keep going onto the minecart to break this side and make the minecart a little crooked for a little bit before it straightens up, you can always do a three prong like this. And then you can go back and forth and take out all of them like that without touching the minecart. So I thought I would just give you a quick peek that we're almost at the top and I'll show you when we're done. So here we are completely done and of course I can make this into a nice entrance and maybe even come off of this and instead of going down here whatever. <laughs> Um, but this is it. So, I mean, going down is about as maybe a little faster than going down ladders, as you can tell. And again, we're going down about a hundred blocks, if you remember. And here we are. Now, the impressive part is on the way up. I'm literally just right clicking and here we are. Like how fast was that? It's very impressive. So if you have a bunch of iron uh, to make the carts out of, this is a very cool and quick way, quick up, regular down to finish your elevator. So thank you very much for watching. Have yourself a great day. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you soon. Bye for now.